Welcome back to my lifestyle channel and to Vlogmas. Um, I'm really excited to do this video today, even though it's kind of been going to be thrown together. <laughs> um, I'm realizing like how late I keep getting and editing and exporting has been fine, but for some reason YouTube has been playing me. I think there's so many people active doing Vlogmas every single day that the servers are just so slow. So that is why I'm going to have to make up some of my 25 days of Vlogmas and I'm still going to be doing my little thrown together like bits of vlogs and videos and maybe upload those the same days as other uploads as well, just to kind of do a little bit of a catch up, but I'm still over here trying to do content, I promise. <laughs> um, today is a little get ready with me, which I know is kind of odd because I do have a beauty channel. If you didn't know, if you're coming or if you found me just through this channel, I do have a beauty channel. Um, but I decided to do a little get ready with me here and kind of do a voiceover portion for it because um, I have a lot going on today. I'm really busy today. I wanted something really simple, so I wanted to break it down and show you guys how I just get a really simple look that still put, looks like put together and honestly like I'm probably going to be rocking a look like this for the majority of the rest of vlogmas because I'm so busy and I'm trying to like look put together for each one of my videos <laughs> so yeah today is also going to be on the cute little tree that I have next to me which is kind of hard for you guys to see a little bit of an awkward angle but you can see it a little bit um, but I'm gonna be going over this tree and I've talked about it a little bit in other videos but I kind of just wanted to touch base on it again because it is such a special tree to me and um, I was really happy to be able to put it up this year I am in a bathroom this is not my bathroom or me and my husband's bathroom this is the boys bathroom and honestly has a better lighting and it's a little bit bigger so I can actually like film in here better like bring my equipment in here but um it is bathroom lighting so if I look a little mm, that's why <laughs> that might just be why <laughs> yeah we're gonna jump into the tree in just a minute I wanted to show you guys how I got this look first so for any type of quick look like this I don't grab a lot of products it's just a handful of things, and it may look a little overwhelming because of the brushes, but honestly, there's not too many items that I'm using on my face. And the first thing I do with any look is priming, but in a case like this, I usually, especially in the wintertime, just go into a moisturizer, and I'm using the Glam Glow Glow Starter. This is an illuminating moisturizer. If my skin is really good, which honestly, it hasn't been too bad, so I probably could have just worn this, but I knew I wanted a little bit of extra makeup. Um, but if you're planning on just doing like a lip, your brows, mascara, and that's about it, um, you could just do this um, moisturizer because it makes my skin look that good. Like it's such a good moisturizer. Um, and it's not a tinted one. It's very, very sheer. So that's why I say like it's when I have really good skin. But I've been having decent skin and I put it on the other day by itself and I was like, Okay, <laughs> my skin looks really good. <laughs> um, so the next step is my brows. I It's very, very rare that I do not do my brows when I'm leaving my house or when I'm doing any type of look um, because they're so fair and light. If you have darker brows and you don't have, and they're thick like mine, so that's the thing. Mine are very thick, very full. I have to the upkeep is insane, but they're so blonde that I still have to fill them in. So if you have big bushy brows too and they're darker, you could just fully through, maybe a little bit of clear brow gel and be good to go. I do use different pencils. Today I use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade two, and then ABH Clear Brow Gel just to kind of seal the deal, keep them. It's gonna be a long day, so I want them to stay in place all day. For the skin, um, I went into Pearly's Perfect Glow BB Cream. This is probably my favorite BB cream at the moment. Um, it's really nice, and although it looks like I'm using a lot, I go into it with a sponge, and today I'm using my Dose of Color sponge. It looks like a lot, but that one pour on my sponge was enough for my entire face, so it does go a little ways too. And again, my skin is looking pretty good, so I was able to go pretty sheer with it, but um, I overall really like the finish and the radiance it gives to my skin. You can definitely see the glow there. 
And yeah, I just put this all over my skin with my sponge. And since, again, I know it's going to be a long day, I want to stay in place, I do use setting spray and setting powder. The setting powder I went into is the Ciate London Extraordinary. It's my favorite setting powder. I use my sponge to, like, pat it underneath my eyes to set my under eyes because I did put a little extra of the BB cream there just for a little bit of cover-up. They're a little dark right now. <laughs> but then I just kind of moved on with a brush, and I took the NYX um, Professional Makeup. This is the 03 brush. I believe this is more of, like, maybe even, like, a foundation brush, but I've actually been really liking it as a powder brush to kind of just push the powder onto my skin to kind of seal the deal with the um, setting powder. You can kind of keep it all set. Um, from there, though, this is where you could definitely go ahead and throw some mascara on, maybe like some gloss or something and kind of move on. But if you want to take it another step, I went into um, my Tarte Tartist Pro Glow To Go palette. It has two highlighters and one contour shade. And I took this bigger Alamar brush. This is their bronzer brush, but it, it's a bigger bronzer brush. It looks a little intimidating, but it's really nice to use this on quick days where I'm wanting to throw the color, put a little bit of life back into my skin because I am so fair. So I took the contour shade out of the TARDIS palette with this, and you guys can see how fast it is to apply it with a bigger brush. I'm not being as precise, but it is just like a quick look. So I wasn't too worried about it. But it's also really nice to have a dual-ended brush. This is the Luxie 249 brush. Um, I was able to take the blender side and just buff the same shade that I like bronze and contoured with into my crease on my eye as well. And then I was able to flip it over and take with the more flat side of the eyeshadow brush, the two highlight shades mixed, and I highlighted my brow bone, my inner corner, but I also put a little bit, like a minimal amount, across my lid as well, just to make it look like I tried more, even though I really didn't. It was just thrown together. Um, and then I, of course, go ahead and go in with a highlighter brush. This is the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter, um, and I just love to mix the highlighters. There's more of a cool tone, and then there's more of a warm tone, but I kind of mix them for a neutral and um, went ahead and put that on my face like I normally would. I feel like even though they're mixed, it's such like a natural one. This is definitely a go-to palette for me for just natural day-to-day -day wear because of that. And I use it on my eyes and stuff all the time for looks exactly like this because it's so easy too. And then um, going into mascara, I rushed a little bit because I do, I have like a meeting and like some other stuff going on today. So I'm trying to like, you know, Gotta hurry with that time now. <laughs> um, but I use the Mile High Club Mascara. I really like this one because it's a really good everyday. It's very lengthening. I feel like I don't get as much volume with this one as I do with the length. But I really like that for natural looks. And I had to run and get a couple of things that I forgot for this look. One being a spoolie because my spoolie trick, if you mess up with your mascara, let it dry down completely, then you can take a spoolie and just kind of like brush the dry down parts away. It doesn't mess up your whole look and it's not smeared or anything like that. It's really nice. You can even take a spoolie on the go with you for when your mascara flakes. If you have one that you're trying to like use up, but you're like, I'm never buying this again because it flakes all the time, this is a little trick to help you through that period of time while you're trying to hurry and use it up. <laughs> the other two things I forgot was my, my lipstick. I'm going to wear a lip. Um, and then my setting spray. So I have the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. It's one of my favorites. So it seals the deal really good for the whole entire makeup look. And then I just threw on this Dosa Colors lipstick. This is a matte lipstick. So I know even though it's a traditional bullet lipstick, it's matte. So it's going to give me a little bit more time of wear. Um, and this is the shade Aftermath. I went for something more bold, again, to make it look like I really put a lot of effort into my look, even though it was super quick in like 10 minutes in the bathroom, if that. So yeah, this is the completed look. It's really easy to get. And if you like this type of video, if you like me talking about makeup, I do have my beauty channel. So I'll link it up in the icon and you can check me out over there. But we're gonna get into the vlogmas of this video.
So, we are decorating, well it's already decorated, but I wanted to go over the woodland tree. I've mentioned it in my last video where I talked about Christmas movies and I wanted to do a more detailed video on it like I've done our other tree videos. I love showing the ornaments and um, I feel like the ornaments are the characters and it just gives each tree like life. So. Yeah, I wanted to go over each one and also I want to show you guys the boys bathroom so you kind of understand it a little bit better. Um, a little bit of a background on this tree before that is this was actually a really cheap tree that my husband had bought. It used to be a pre-lit tree um, and he had bought it um, before he was even a teacher. He had another office job and he bought it from like a fundraiser and had it sitting on his desk. He had it decorated and then the next year he went a little bit bigger with his tree and gave this to me to put in our son Roman's room. So Roman's our seven year old now. It was in his room for I would say about three years until we had Axel and then Roman was upgraded to a bigger tree so Axel got this tree. And Axel's nursery was woodland themed so we went woodland themed with his tree as well and that's why this is a woodland themed tree. And then about a year ago, Axel upgraded from a nursery into a big boy room, which was devastating but exciting at the same time, and he has a dinosaur themed room now, so it didn't really make sense to have his woodland themed tree in there as much anymore. But we also, I'll kind of do a pan around of their bathroom, we also still loved the wall collage we had. It has wood burn, wood burnings, it has string arts. Um, we're really proud of those. We actually made those in our shop. I hope to eventually have them listed on our Etsy for you guys. If you guys are interested, I would love to do other wall collages with wood burning and string art. My husband wood burns, I string art. So it's kind of a theme or a team thing. Um, but then the rug, the shower curtain, it's all woodland. I'm um, also like a little soap dispenser on the sink to kind of go with the theme. So we actually piece these all together. And honestly, the shower curtain, the rug, and like the soap dispenser, their little toothbrush holder I think is also a hedgehog. So it kind of but I keep it up like in the cabinet for sanitary purposes. But um, it all came together. I actually found them at Walmart, surprisingly, which I know Woodland became really popular around the time um, that I had Axel. So it only made sense to like be able to add on to that. But yeah, um, it's already Woodland themed. So I was like, how cute. They have a bigger countertop. Like it's not super big, but there's still enough room for this tiny little tree and it's just perfect. So I do want to go over the ornaments um, before I wrap up this video. We have obviously little ball ornaments. I kind of kept it to just gold and browns and it's so beautiful. I love the matte brown ball ornaments. Um, but the other like ball ornaments that are not actually ball ornaments are like the little, I don't even know what you call them, like the standard ornaments that are kind of scrunched and have like the indentions on them, <laughs> that there's red ones mixed in. I wanted to have a little bit of color, just not too much. Um, so there's gold and red. There's also um, other little shaped ornaments and there's the stars, which I really love too. I believe they're all gold glitter. There's a lot of glitter too, but I just think it really pulls it together. Now, the other ornaments on this tree, we have snowflakes and we have them in gold and red as well. And also brown, I really love the brown snowflakes. Um, we also have the acorns, which are literally so freaking cute, probably like, my favorite, almost close to my favorite. Here, I'll just show you guys over here. You guys are seeing mirror view, but oh my gosh, these are so cute. Like look at them at the size of my hand. I also really, really love the bottles of glitter though. They are so cute. It's almost like a Tinkerbell pixie dust moment and they're just like in these little glass jars. We have those in like a few different shades. Um, and then besides that, we of course have our cute little uh, fox who was Axel's ornament. Um, I think the first year we did this tree for him, that was like his ornament of the year. And then he also has a little woodburn ornament that again, my husband would burn. So it says baby's first Christmas and on the back it says Axel 2016. And that was 
his ornament that James Woodburn for him, but I just love it. And I think I might have James Woodburn a couple more little tiny ones to like put on this tree because the other ornaments that are more axles, there was like some Mickey Mouse ones that didn't really go with this theme either, but I kind of stuck them in his Grinch tree. Um, but yeah, now that he has the Grinch tree, we've moved this in here and I just love it. It's so cute. And the top is a bow. We have a lot of bows and update if I forgot to mention it in one of the like regular vlogs. I went back to look for a tree topper for the living room tree. They're like gone. Like Hobby Lobby's like Christmas is over. It's time for summer and like all their summer stuff is out. It's like so crazy. So I have a bow on the top of that one that's gonna stay I guess for the rest of this year but it's almost over anyways but yeah this one has a bow as well but there's some little wooden acorns glued um, in the center of the bow and I feel like it just gives it so much character and the burlap bow really pulls together the rustic woodland vibes as well but yeah I know this video was really thrown together I apologize I hope you guys still enjoyed um, this is the last of our trees yeah um, I have one other tree that I don't think I've done a whole video of it on him here but you guys can check it out I'll link it up in the icon it's the tree in my beauty space so I did a get ready with me a sugar plum look and I decorated my tree in that video so you guys can check it out but you may be treed out at this point <laughs> I'm kind of glad all my trees are done at this point but yeah in case you are still loving all the different trees we have quite a few in our home I hope you guys enjoyed this somewhat and also stay tuned for more vlogmas more exciting videos we're going to be baking and mixed drinks i'm hoping <laughs> that, would, that would be a highlight um and all of that is coming soon so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in tomorrow's vlogmas bye